Hey everyone, it's Deli here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to be building a home for the in-laws and I know that sounds kind of weird but I made this sim Roger Jr. Kensington, the son of Charlotte Kensington and Roger Kensington, uh, who I kind of wanted to make these stereotypical in-laws <laughs> that maybe you like have a sim who marries uh, Roger Jr. and these are the in-laws you have to meet and I wanted to build their home as well. <laughs> um, so basically I wanted this home to seem a little conservative, uh, very beige, a little bit dated potentially, um, but also at the same time really nice and homely. So it's kind of like a warm beige home that you might go to when you meet your in-laws. So I don't know if you guys are gonna really get the inspo for this, but maybe some of you guys will. I just thought it was kind of a fun little storyline to play along with in my head. And I think the home actually turned out quite nicely. It definitely is very conservative. It is, uh, you know, it's not a mansion, but clearly they have a bit of money. And uh, yeah, it's a home where there's also some rooms for the grandkids to come stay in. And at the moment, Roger Jr. doesn't actually have grandchids, grandchids, grandchildren. Uh, oh, kids of his own, sorry. So they don't have grandkids yet, but it's almost like they so badly want grandkids. They've already like set up the room ready for them. And he's like still on the dating scene. <laughs> Although I have to say the rooms look a little bit like there's already been kids inside of them. So maybe if you wanted to recreate the storyline in your own game, you would kind of make the rooms look a little neater and uh, a little more untouched, I suppose. But yeah, basically this house is going to be very symmetrical. There's a house next door that I built that I wanted this to kind of suit a little bit. They look quite similar. And yeah, it's very symmetrical. The home uh, is going to have, I think it's the master bedroom with an ensuite. Then we have a shared bathroom and two bedrooms, one with twin single beds and another one with a single bed so that's three four five sleeps five sims then there's I think a half bathroom downstairs as well and then outside there's just like a little patio area with a barbecue so and then the entertaining areas are quite large and spacious so yeah and I also decided to use some windows from, I think it was the Romantic Stuff Pack, which I absolutely love the classic windows we're gonna put in soon, but I never use them because they don't really have outer frames. So they look good when they're side by side, like next to each other. But as soon as you hit the end of the windows, they don't really complete themselves. So they are really difficult to use in builds. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that as well, or maybe I don't really use them in a way that they're made to be used, but I was actually really excited to use them in this build because I've deliberately put in lots of columns to frame the windows. So they look like they're like perfectly inset into the wall. I also used this new brick from University uh, Life and, oh, is it University Living or University? The Sims 4 University, Oh, I always get so confused with the Sims 4 names. Sims 4 Uni, let me just Google it quickly or else it's gonna annoy me. The Sims 4 Discover University, that's it. So was Uni Life in The Sims 3? I think Uni Life was in The Sims 3 maybe, Sims 3 University. University life, okay, oh my gosh, I bet I just confused everyone then. <laughs> so that brick is from The Sims 4 Discover University and right now I'm going through many, many windows to find the window that we need to make this build look perfect. The doors, I also used doors from, I think that was from Strangerville, hmm. I think. And I was about to use the classic uh, windows that I always use from Seasons, but I thought, nope, we have to do something different. So we're about to put in the romantic stuff pack windows in a second. I'm just testing out a few others. Uh, and I also decided to lift the height of the walls too on the upper level. I think it just kind of suited the build a bit more and it meant that we could also use these windows uh, more as well. So yeah, now we're popping them all in. I'd say this is quite a, uh, I feel like this is an American looking home. 
you know, there's plenty of homes like this in Australia, but I definitely think it's an American influence. Would you guys agree with that? Like a, a more traditional American looking home? I just, yeah, I'm not sure. And yeah, I also love that there's a front yard as well because I feel like front yards that are a little bit manicured kind of reflect that the people who live in the home take a lot of pride in how they look from the outside. So I definitely wanted to communicate that this family, they really care about what others think of them and they really want to appear like a family who have everything in order. Also to tell you guys a little bit more about their son, they're extremely proud of their only child, their son, Roger Jr. And he is really, really smart. He's like a little genius and he is already, thanks to a little bit of cheat, <laughs> he is already a angel investor, which is the top level of the business career in the investor a branch so they are very very proud of him and they would like always tell everyone about their son and how amazing he is and I swear his mom would be like oh have you met my son and always want you know to be on the lookout for a woman for him or a man for him and she would just always be like trying to find him someone to marry but at the same time, no one will ever be good enough for her son. So I thought it was a little bit humorous. And I've got to say, I have certainly heard of people like this who have moms who like push them to find someone, but they also aren't satisfied with anyone that they bring home. <laughs> so I feel like this is, this is quite a common thing uh, of protective mothers who really, they care so much for their son. They just want the best and to keep him on track, but... Uh, you know, sometimes it's a little bit too much pressure. So now we're putting in a little bit of the back garden and we're going to be working on the interior in just a second. So this is the final exterior. I do move a mailbox to the front as well. And I've actually already uploaded it to the gallery. So if you want to download it, it is under the username Deligracy. Just make sure to show custom content. I don't believe there's any custom content in here. Actually, I think one of the beds are. But of course, if you download it, just obviously replace the space where a bed is with a bed from the game. Uh, that should only really take you like a minute. And yeah, everything else is pretty much pretty much in, I guess, oh, actually no, I was gonna say it's pretty much in a series of the same packs, but I think I've actually used a bit of a mix. Uh, so you might need to fill in a couple of things, assuming that uh, you don't have all the packs if you have the game, because I know I never used to have all the packs uh, and I would download people's creations and just kind of replace things with whatever I had. And that's totally cool. But yeah, I thought uh, I loved these couches from City Living. I just thought they look like the in-law couches. I loved all the cream colors. Uh, cream is definitely not a wallpaper color that I personally would choose to have in my own home. I'm not much of a cream girl. I'm more of like whites, grays, that kind of thing. Uh, but I felt like cream suited the in-law's house. I mean, cream's beautiful. A lot of creams can be stunning in any home so don't worry I'm not saying if you have cream walls you suit you must be like this family not at all <laughs> but I feel like cream did suit this family uh, and yeah just making the kitchen and uh, I love the in-law characters the mums uh, <laughs> the mum creator sim was quite fun she's got like a hooked nose and I feel like she'd be the type of neighbor to look over the fence and be really really nosy and kind of want to know about everyone's business and then the dad he was uh, I'd imagine he had a very you know, wholesome career and maybe the mom as well, you know, they had good wholesome careers and did a good job at it and clearly made a lot of money from it. So they lived very comfortably and could give their son a really nice life, especially being an only child. Um, but they're kind of like a little bit snobby, you know, they kind of are a little bit too high up on their horse. Uh, I wouldn't call them the most humble of folk, folks. And then this is like the tea room. So you'd go here to have like a tea and she'd like the mom would sit right by the door and the dad when their son came home and would be like, hello, we're here. <laughs> so what is happening? What's the latest? 
you know, they'd just be waiting in that little area and then they'd be like, okay, well, let's come into the dining room or let's go to the lounge area. Uh, I always like over character develop, even when I'm doing a build. Like I'll sit down in my game and just think of all of these character stories just to build a house and I'll have to like make the characters. Do you guys do that as well? Do you find that that's, that's something that you do? And I, this corner was actually quite tricky because I put the columns on either side of the window to kind of make the window blend into the walls more. But then we had this awkward corner where I was like, I could put a plant there, but it doesn't really suit the room. So I decided to use the move objects on cheat and kind of wedge a shelf in the wall, which I know it doesn't look ideal, but I feel like it's, I feel like it's okay. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's all right. I might like to revisit it and change it though, or you might like to as well. And we're also using a couple of these uh, little Ottomans from Spa Day, base game plants. Uh, I think the magazine holder was from what, Parenthood or Cats and Dogs? I think Parenthood maybe. And then up here, we're just putting a few sconce lights in. I wanted it to look a little bit dated uh, and I felt like those hanging lights were definitely too modern for the house. Uh, but yeah, I wanted it to look slightly dated, maybe more 90s, a lot of the stuff in here. Uh, like they'd had it for quite some time, but they've still maintained the home really, really well. And it's still like a really nice home to go to and visit. Um, but then again, I think a lot of you guys might say, well, I don't think it's actually dated. I think it's more classic. So maybe it's not dated at all. Maybe it's just the aesthetic. And then up here on the stairwell, I just thought a nice little console table mirror all of that would be good to place here and yeah just get get all the all the decor objects up there because really you could put maybe a desk up there or you could put some skill building items but I also think that depends on what kind of family you're moving in so if you want to download the house that could be a good area for I don't know a treadmill or a little art nook or something like that this is the master bedroom and I had a little bit of difficulty finding a bed that had a nice purple hue in it. So I actually used this recolored bed and I'm trying to remember who made this bed. I actually can't recall, but it's basically just the Max's bed recolored. Uh, and I find some of the custom content that hasn't actually changed any of the objects except for the coloring to be really handy especially on those objects that you use a lot such as beds because it just gives you a little bit more versatility because uh, I always feel like beds are a little tough if you play the game as much as I do which I know a lot of you guys play a lot of sims you do get to a point where you're like okay all of my bedrooms are looking the same now <laughs> and I really need some more colors to work with and we got some purpley, purpley curtains, some green in there, cause green goes really nicely with purple in my opinion. And those paintings, they're not custom content. They came from Tiny Living, I believe. A couple of matching dresses in here as well. I definitely feel like they would have matching dresses. Was kind of tempted to put a wardrobe in there. Oh, actually these mirrors that I've used above these dresses, they are from the sims kia custom content pack so those are actually custom content as well so the mirrors and the bed are custom content a uh, bit easy to replace i just liked those mirrors because they fit above the dresser so perfectly and they're just like a basic item it's they're very versatile and easy to use and of course our jungle adventures floor mirror which is classic i always use that i love it it's great and yeah just putting a couple of trees, greenery, you know, all of that good stuff before we start working on the grandkids room. So this room, I was orig originally gonna make it like a sunshine yellow, but in the end I thought, no, we'll make it like a blue dollhouse looking room. We'll put a nice uh, longer table to be just one bedside table for both beds with matching lamps. Like it's very matchy, it's very cute. You could definitely imagine, you know, the, 
the mom or the grandmother being like, okay, kids, so I've set up this room for you. Look, I've even put a teddy bear there. You have matching beds. Very, very eager to have some grandchildren in the family. <laughs> and then there's also even little matching desks at the end of each bed. Uh, I decided to just put one laptop in there because two seemed a little bit excessive, especially for kids, because what kids have laptops, you know? Maybe in high school you get a laptop, but do many kids have laptops? I don't know, because when I was a kid, that was unheard of, really. You would have had to be like Richie Rich to have a laptop in primary school. <laughs> so I have no idea. But maybe there are laptops now in primary school. Is that what kids use these days? I feel so old. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know. And then I thought it was nice to kind of have the leafy patterns on the curtains too, just to make it a little bit less bland, I suppose, and have a little divider in there. But the toys scattered around the place, I think it makes it look a little bit more like kids have been there. Whereas you might want to take them away if it's like they're waiting on grandkids, you know? Then over here is another single bed. I would have liked to put a double bed in here, but I've realized that with one of the game updates, I think they took away the ability for your sims to slide over to the other side of a bed if a bed is against a wall. So if there's a double bed, your sims would just kind of scoot over, but now it seems like they might not. That's just what I've been reading from a lot of people uh, when I've put it in builds. So yeah, just a single bed in here. You know, you could probably put twin beds in this room and then in the other room have a double bed if you wanted somewhere for the parents to stay at the in-laws. But I thought that this room was probably okay. And I don't know what I'm doing right now. I must be switching shows. I've actually been watching The Office uh, again. And it's funny because I tried to watch The Office many times and I just wasn't really getting into it at all. I think I watched the first season and I was like, I don't like this show and everyone raves about it. But recently I got into it again and I got through the second season and saw the third season and now I'm like really into it. <laughs> I watch it all the time now. Oh, now we're back into it. Uh, the American version. And I always find that either people like the American or the British. I haven't seen the British version yet. I just went straight into the American version because uh, it's on Stan in Australia, but yeah, it's it's funny. It's very funny. I think it takes a little while to get into though. And then the next show I want to get into is Gilmore Girls because I never watched that and it's one of my best friend Tian's favorite shows. So that's what's that's the tea. <laughs> that's the real MFT, you know? So now we are just... Um, basically finishing off the home. And actually, it's been a while since we just did a speed build, to be honest. I think we haven't done a speed build for quite some time that doesn't have a face cam over it. So let me know if you like the voiceover speed builds. I did find that a lot of you guys prefer real-time builds, but then probably like 30 or 40% of you like a speed build now and then. The thing with speed builds is, you can get so much more done and be so much more detailed because if I'm doing a real-time build, I feel like I'm trying to work more quickly so the video doesn't go for that long. Uh, so that's just the thing. A speed build, it's like completely relaxed, deli going for it. And then the other ones are a little bit more planned, I suppose. But hey, it both works. I also got some custom content rugs, but I didn't use them here. I feel like they look a little alpha to me maybe. They're promoted as Max's match, but I feel like they're maybe leaning on, on Alpha, at least in this home. So here it is. Welcome to the in-laws house. Uh, I hope no one is offended by the term in-laws. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's cute. But here we go. This is the lounge room. Uh, you've got Richard there. Wait, was his name Richard? I think it was Richard. Isn't that beautiful? And there's the back door as well. Very pretty and very light pastel. It's kind of perfect, perfectly put together. Oh, and look who's in the kitchen, Ms. Kensington. <laughs> Cooking up a storm there. I actually didn't deliberately 
get her in the kitchen for that picture, okay? <laughs> but I think that's quite funny. And then here's the little sitting area, which I think turned out quite cute actually for a room that I wasn't that into. The bathrooms are quite cute, lots of pinks and eggshell colors, the upstairs landing. Uh, the blue room or the grandkids room, potential grandkids room, which is a little bit cute. And the second room. So maybe a teen would stay in there or one of the parents uh, in that room as well. So yeah, that's pretty much the build. Let me know if you have any other ideas for builds or videos. I know a lot of you guys have been hanging out for an LP, which there will certainly be an LP coming to the channel in the near future, but um, I'll do it when I feel ready to. Not gonna force it, because we want to have a LP that is, you know, gonna last more than five episodes. <laughs> so that'll take a little bit of time. So thanks for your patience on that one, and it'll be worth the wait. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Have an awesome week. Dag, dag.